Are you looking to start a YouTube channel but you're completely overwhelmed with what gear you need to get started? It's tough when YouTube is flooded with beautiful setups that cost like a thousand to like ten thousand dollars and you're not sure where to start and like cut through the noise of what you actually need to make videos that are good enough. In this video I wanted to share exactly the gear that I use to produce like better than most videos, but still very budget friendly. I should add a caveat here that the only real gear you need is like a Wi-Fi connection and a phone. But if you wanna take your production just a little bit higher, this is the gear that I use and it's really affordable. Filming. So for filming, I use my iPhone 14 Pro. I really like the camera. I really like the quality it produces. Obviously it can film in 4K. I recommend using whatever smartphone that you have access to. Smartphones are good enough nowadays that you can film and get pretty good quality with just the built-in camera and you really don't need fancy gear. On my iPhone, I wanted to still up the production quality a little bit. So I downloaded Filmic Pro, which allows you full manual control over all of the camera settings. It also allows you to adjust like the frame rate and the exposure so you can get kind of a like a more natural look to your film. I don't necessarily like how the camera automatically films. I just find like shooting in I think it's 30 frames um, feels a little bit less natural. So I really like shooting in 24 frames per second which Filmic Pro allows me to do. For my tripod, I just have a cheap one off Amazon. I found that that was good enough. Originally, I bought a kind of $20 one from Amazon that um, was only like this big. It could only work on tables and it had a weird like stabilization thing built in, which I thought I really needed at first, but it turns out that just means that you need to charge your tripod all the time and sometimes it stops working and you lose <laughs> your balance of your phone and just like swings. I don't know why I felt like I needed all that, Spend a little bit more on your tripod. Get one that I would say is in the $50 range. I'll link mine down below. But get one that can do a bunch of different heights and one that does not need any kind of charging capabilities. For my microphone, I just use the built-in microphone on my iPhone. They say that audio quality is really important and I agree, but I found that with my iPhone microphone and, wow, that's kind of hard to say, some editing in Final Cut Pro, I can get audio that's definitely good enough. I also tend to lay like all these pillows and blankets on the floor where I'm filming to just try and reduce that echo. Pillows and blankets are a great way to reduce your echo on a budget. For lighting, for lighting I use the sun. So this is where I've been sitting at least at this filming location, my Airbnb in Mexico. And then this is the window that is across from me. Thanks queen. I actually think lighting will be the next thing that I invest in because lighting is pretty limiting. When you work a full-time job and you live in the Northern Hemisphere, the sun goes down so quickly that it can be difficult to even find time to filming while juggling like that full schedule. I really want to invest in lighting, but right now I have gotten away with just having a large window that I sit in front of. Editing. So for my editing, I use Final Cut Pro. I initially started with iMovie, but I quickly ran up against all the limitations that it has and I wanted something a bit more. I also found out that I really enjoy making YouTube videos and so I wanted to spend time learning a system that I could use far into the future. I downloaded the Final Cut Pro free trial. The free trial is great because it lasts 90 days, so you can really dip your toes into the water and see if filming and editing is something you even want to do. At the end of that trial period, it's $300, which I know, I know is kind of a lot. I just bought it, it sucked. But I really like just paying for a software once and having it forever. I really didn't like Adobe After Effects because that is a monthly subscription model and I didn't really want to fork over like 50 bucks to Adobe every month. I'd rather just like cough up $300 now and make it work. Obviously, if you're on a budget, iMovie can work great, but if you're trying to level up your skills in the long run, I recommend checking out the Final Cut Pro 90 day trial. I also edit on my banged up MacBook Pro. I got this laptop for free. I used to work for a startup and then they laid me off and they had no money to give me severance, but they did allow me to keep my laptop. So that is what I have here. It's not particularly powerful. It has the Intel chip. And so when it runs Final Cut Pro, it can definitely see some lag, especially if I'm working with a bigger file, but I found that it works good enough. I did find out, however, that I needed to get an external hard drive as well. This is another essential. 
I got the Samsung T7 external hard drive. Uh, I think it has like a terabyte of storage. When I was editing on my laptop, I just found it did not have enough storage to keep all these like 4K videos on it. So I completely edit off of my external hard drive. They're not terribly expensive, I would say 70 bucks, and it allows my computer to be good enough for now. For all my thumbnails and all my editing, I use Canva. I had the pro membership for a while, but I actually stopped using it. I found that the free version got me enough. Canva's great if you don't want to spend that much time on a thumbnail. It has a lot of good resources and it's very user friendly, so you can create something that looks pretty good pretty fast. For music, at first I didn't even use any music for my videos. I think you can go watch my first one. It's probably a bit dry, but I found Thematic to get free, copyright free music. I have heard recently that some people have been dealing with copyright strikes from Thematic. Again, my channel is not monetized, so I haven't noticed anything like that, but be wary of that at least. Honestly, if you're just starting out and you're making a couple videos, like it doesn't really matter. Um, your videos aren't gonna be that great anyways, and potentially you can monetize them down the line, but it'll be fine if you can't. And Thematic has a lot of really great chill background music that you can download for free. I think you can download like a couple songs a month for free with their plan. They also have a paid version as well. I also have a couple sound effects that I use. I bought them one off from Audio Jungle. I didn't want another subscription that allows you access to like a huge library of sound effects. I only needed a couple like I think I have like a whoosh one and then I think I use the mouse click one the most. Um, and I just bought those ones for like two bucks. Other than that guys, that's all I use. I hope this helps you overcome the barrier of like what gear to get because I was really overwhelmed at first and I had to do some research on like what I even needed to do to get started. Again, you can just start uploading videos immediately from your phone, but I wanted to create something that was a little bit better. So this is what I found that works. If you have any recommendations, let me know. I'm actually planning on upgrading some of my gear soon, which is why I wanted to do this video now where I'm still very much in like the budget phase. There's a couple key areas I wanna upgrade, like the lights, maybe get an epidemic sound subscription and maybe a microphone, we'll see. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one, bye.